we recently saw a very old legislation being re revamped, the company's bill, for example. And again, there you have more than 300 clauses for which rules have to be written, which in itself, I'm sure, will take a long time. But did that leave you satisfied? Because India Inc. would like us to believe that there is a lot in there which actually will create far more pain uh, going forward. Is that a view you have, preliminary? There are certain areas in which I think there will be uh, discomfort and uh, difficulty in implementation. Um, why you can't have many layers of subsidiaries when it has always been around for tax planning. I mean, I don't understand the logic of it. Uh, there are certain sections where they have tried to uh, mitigate the earlier pitfalls of uh, uh, what happened. I think everybody's waiting. I mean, I would certainly be waiting to give a verdict on it after I see the rules because that is going to frame a lot of it. Because the minute the section says, as will be prescribed in the rules, if you don't know what the rules are saying, you can't really, with any degree of granularity, say, okay, this works or this doesn't work. Uh, you can obviously see the, 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 the plugs that they've tried to sort of fill up in terms of the Satyam uh, debacle. Mm -hmm. Now, has it been a bit of a knee-jerk reaction? Yeah, it's a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. How will it play out in terms of how do you categorize independence? Uh, you are now not allowed to be a passive independent director. You actually have to ask the questions. If you're not there at the meeting, it doesn't matter. You have to read the minutes at the next meeting and make sure you ask the questions. So uh, we understand why the government has felt anxious and felt the need to do it. I think for me as a professional, the worry is my independent directors that you could count on to, to, to sort of reach out to, um, when you were advising a company or a client, uh, how many of them will feel comfortable sitting as such? Um, and as it is, there's a dearth of good independent directors in this so. country. Very much so. I mean, after Satyam, what? The statistics were that about 25% of independent directors stepped down post Satyam. Um, I don't know what you'll have now. There's a lot of uh, questions that come. Uh, Zia under the bill, what will be our liability and what should we be doing and what are the compliance checks. And uh, But at the end of the day, you're still a director. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to prove the negative, that you did take all diligence and you weren't aware. And uh, So it's, it's obviously the right way to go in terms of having an independent director responsible. Uh, but the independent director has to be able to know he can sleep at night mm -hmm. and that he doesn't have to worry about every small thing of which he truly was unaware. I think that messaging the government has to give. I think it wants to.